Hello, Aries. It's I'm Omega Tarot, and this is your someone secretly talking about you tarot card reading. Um, let's have a look and see what's going on. I'm just going to dive right in with the tarot cards. This is the Light Sears tarot deck, by the way. And here we go. Your first card. Let's go upright. Let's do an all upright reading. Ten of Pentacles, not bad. Ten of Pentacles, not bad, Aries. That's, that's winning right off the top. All right, then we have the Judgment card. And the Judgment card is kind of, it's not associated with you, but it's associated with your cousin, Scorpio. The, so, the Judgment card is associated with Pluto, the planet of transformation, death and rebirth, and the afterlife. All themes are involved. Sh like shared resources, the underworld, all them creepy things, hidden stuff. Two of Cups. Now we got a Two of Cups. So we got that. Ooh, we have, we, we have a, it feels good. It feels good. It feels like a connection. It feels like a personal transformation. It feels like abundance. But, like, I wish it was in the opposite order a little bit. No? Anybody feel me on that? Ten of Pentacles gives us the success and feeling like there's a sense of completion with your life as far as your physical health or your home, your income, your lifestyle, whatever it, be, it is, your you're, you're celebrating serious wins and you're grateful and showing gratitude towards the success that you've had so far. doesn't mean everything's perfect, everything's put together. It means you're doing well. And that might just mean well by other standards around you. Okay? And then we have the judgment card. And so we have to think about what in life this lesson is. Ten of Pentacles doing what You have to evaluate the stuff that you're doing well at. And, and use your judgment and be like, well, actually, you know, when I think of some patterns in my life, like that time that I got this job, it was because I mentioned this hobby. Or the, the next time I got this job, I, I actually got a promotion because I connected through this hobby. Or, or, or the last, like, you know, it's making bigger, broader connections in your life and realizing some of the life themes that happen only and specifically your life. So I always get lucky and get free furniture. I always get lucky and get a nice deal. I'm, I get the nice face discount all the time. Uh, I'm usually very abundant and have more than enough. Relationships go well. Two of cups. Like we see two little instances of relationships and these this relationship can seem very transformative. So this person talking about you, it feels like they're talking about their connection, the successfulness of it, the growth, the personal transformation. Listen, it's looking like you're getting like a life changing, a personal life trans for more trans. Okay, relax relax when things go well you realize other things and then other things go well feel me on the layman's because that's i mean that's what it is you're doing it well and that begets more well doing and so let's have a look at what they be saying about this because it's a good thing it's a good omen no feels like a good omen to me oh for wands the twin flame it's the natural flow. It's the thuggish rubbish song. Listen, Four of Wands represents marriage. It looks like that vibe was already on, on course. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Stability and a passion that burns continuously. Fiery twin flame, soulmate, material. All right, and that's just top of your reading. So there, it feels like there's abundance at home. Like maybe you guys, a lot of your home life, you really enjoy it. Maybe some of you guys have been doing reno. Some of you've been getting the nice floral arrangements. Some of you guys have just managed to found a home, find a home at all. And some of you guys are the best part of life is the home life, how you feel. Some of you have it all. You have the kids there. You got the little, some, some the dog, the person there could be, you know, brother, uncle, partner. Although I feel strong. Oh, maybe yeah, the happiness is with the partner and the potential family. Personal transformation. Some of you haven't been here before and it's new. Some of you are realizing what it takes, having your aha moments about relationships and success in them. Four of Wands. Some of you are going to learn how a Four of Wands twin flame soulmate feels. Wow, this is otherworldly. We have the High Priestess who is associated with the moon. High Priestess is very psychic energy, very destiny based energy because it was meant to be with the high, high priestess and she's got the scroll to prove that it has been written so some of the th some of the storylines in your life are predetermined i know we have free will but some of the like the broader themes of it all that that's like okay it was meant to be type vibe and that's what you recognize and feel deja vu that's what you recognize and go oh you feel familiar to me like we should be that's what that is so don't get too no i need free will it's like no look 
you want this though you will want this right the high priest gives us that secret inf information the secret knowledge and how things unfold organically is what matters to her most and i feel like when it comes to marriage relationship and those special important soulmate connections what you realize is the psychic energy the intuitive energy and that those relationships can't be found in a found on a dating app because you felt like you should find it that day or whatever it's one of these otherworldly connections where fate you gotta leave it up to fate you never know when where who when the where the who and the what and the where but you do follow a vibe within where you're like well i definitely know i'm not on track today because ain't no way this person's gonna find me well because i've been at home for the last 17 days and i haven't even looked out a window like hey, yo but you love that home life though but you love that home life um some of you already have a partner and you're just thriving in the, the energy of uh, connection. Some of you guys are thinking about taking that connection to the next level. Soulmate, twin flame, marriage, um, friendship, potential, um, everything else going well. So this person coming in. So you guys have a good good vibe coming in for your uh, for your person there. Your person there. They be talking. They want to be talking. It's like, yo. The angels are on our side and, and whatnot. All right, so we have the page of swords in reverse. We have three of wands in reverse, but I'm going to flip them over because we said no. No reversals in this reading, which I don't normally do, so I don't know why I did it for this one, but let's stay with the vibe. Okay, so then we have the three of wands and the queen of wands, fiery energy, action energy. It could get sexual, I don't know. Page of swords, giving us the drama, the gossip, also... Nice prelude to that wand's energy. Um, but I feel like what this person talking about you, you can see the passion. You can see how much th it's a good idea to connect with you. It's a good idea and life-changing idea for you uh, and any of the Scorpio-like placements, the Plutonian placements. It's a good, deep personal transformation type connection. Uh, it breeds success and abundance in your life and a happy home life especially. It feels like you've met this person feels like you know who this person is and how things unfold are organically and naturally and you cannot force it. I feel like the Page of Swords, it does center around some gossip and drama. So it might be a, a salacious, not just the uh, PG romantic comedy where you meet. There might be a little bit of a drama involved in how you meet. There might be drama from other people as well because we see a big family here. There might be a lot of people, fingers involved. A lot of people in the kitchen trying to cook. But we have the Three of Wands. So... I do think that there's a little element of fire because of somebody's wandering eye. So there might be a little bit of like, should, dare I say drama because of that? It could be just talking and gossip and all that. But I think, I think the three of wands means that somebody's always very curious and has their eye out there and looking towards what's unknown, but what could be. Which means it's like not somebody that's like, oh, I met somebody and I, I, I want to get to know them and be interested. It's somebody that just wants to be available to be interested. It's somebody who's open to making a mistake. And so this person, I feel like, if, 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 whether they're coming from that mistake and wanting to reconnect, and because they've had a personal transformation they want to do better, or this person, like, the gossip, the tea around them is the wandering eyes. Like, maybe you're dealing with a person who's been around the world and been, you know, a runner, a twin flame runner, and now they're here for the reconciliation. Um, the Three of Wands just represents somebody just wanting to go out there and take that action and go and be free and be adventurous and explore, which doesn't necessarily gel well with the person who wants to be in a monogamous relationship but the three of wands is about excitement so you might you might like that three of wands um the queen of wands energy also very magical very creative very resourceful energy and very powerful um she has the resources to make dreams come true make wishes happen and she has a sense of nurture to just be interested in doing the work to get it done um and um she cares she's a queen she cares so i feel like there is some element of a not temptation but it's like are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to walk down this path? Are you sure you want to get into it with this person? I feel like there's just so much connection. There's so much lore with the person that, whoever this is that you're talking, that you're connected to, whoever it is that is talking about you. I feel like there's so much unknown to others and there's so much unknown to you, but I feel like you're down for the journey because of the strong fiery connection. I think whatever that fiery connection is, you know, is because if it's, you, I guess maybe it's like you expect the unexpected with this person. You never know what's coming. They keep you on your toes. They're exciting. They're creative. They do random things. They're fun. They're energetic. They're lively. It could be all those things. But again, with a fun, energetic, lively person, there's always going to be some rumor swir swirling around them. It's like somebody who's tired of getting played and somebody who's out there all the time doing all this, saying, you know what? I'm done. I just want a homebody who plays video games all day. 
Like, that's it. That's it. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like, you like them for the reason that you, you're worried. Because <laughs> they're fun. Um, so Paige, what what person can tame them? But that Paige of Swords is drama gossip around them again. There's drama with this person. There's drama. It's, it is what it is. I don't know how down you are for drama. You seem like you might like some drama from time to time. You're not. You're too. You're not horrified. So this person might just be a lot of fun. They're talking about you. Hey, they're coming, coming in strong. And especially if they've been a twin flame runner and now they're getting in their re return bag. Yeah. So. Anyways, that's your reading. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment and uh, all the things, you know. Have a look at my Etsy shop. Check out my candles and my fragrance oils. See which ones you like. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.